We are in Clinton, British Columbia. We're going to eat lunch over at Caribou Lodge. Okay, I am having beef dip with split pea soup, garlic ribs, pork garlic ribs, and Walter's having pulled pork with pea soup. All right, the Caribou Lodge restaurant, the food, mediocre. If you're gonna say you serve garlic, pork ribs, Make it taste like garlic pork ribs. There was very little garlic taste to it. The beef dip, mediocre. So it was an okay lunch. I wouldn't say it was great. All right, we're gonna get back on the road. We're still on the, I don't know what highway this is. Cassier, I think, who knows. We're headed towards, where are we headed? Cushy Creek? Cash Creek. And we're looking for an ATM. So, I haven't seen a bank. We're gonna go get gas at the Petro. And their tourist information place is open. Oh, uh, they're tour where? Right there, across the street, the red building. Do you wanna go to, okay, we're gonna go Why to the- walk over there? We're gonna go to the tourist information place. Since it is open on the weekend. Imagine that, a tourist place open on the weekend. Unlike 100 Mile House. Saturday and Sunday close. Stupid. All right, here we are at Catchy Creek. I think that's the name. I don't know. I thought this would be as big as Prince George. It looked like it on the map, but apparently it's not. It's a very teeny tiny little town. It's got a lot of restaurants and it's got a lot of motels. It's got, we've seen one RV park only and we're staying at it. The internet, there is none. Phone reception, there is none. So this is the turn off to Highway 1. Going, going forward, it goes to Vancouver. And then if you turn, it goes to Kamloops. So we're headed towards Kamloops. That, and that's where the RV park is. The rolling hills are really pretty. They're all pretty, they're brown, they're brown grass. I don't know if they're dead or just in hibernation. The grass hibernate? Oh, yeah. Anyway, with, this is the scenic view that we've been driving through pretty much. It's this brown rolling hills. And the town ends pretty much where you see the third light <laughs> down there. So it's very small. I thought it would be larger. So this is where we're having dinner at Herbie's Drive-In. And according to their own sign, they're home of the Monster Burger. All right. And we're here for two nights. Only because I thought it would be a large city. Apparently it's not. It's a they turn they call themselves a village. They're not even a town, a city, it's a it's a village. Okay, off to dinner. All right, here we are at Brookside Campsite in Ketchy Creek, British Columbia. Would I stay here again? Mixed emotions. If it's only overnight, yes. Anything longer than overnight, I would say no. We do have full hookups, water, power, it's 30 amp, sewer, there is no cable, and the reception for internet is horrible. They have, they've got three internet sites, and all three of them are slower than molasses. I did send out an email to a fellow YouTuber, uh, sim free and simple, and I sent it at one o'clock in the morning when I knew no one else would be on the internet. So didn't quite care for that at all. This is their washrooms. That's what they call it here in Canada, washrooms, not restrooms. 
and I haven't seen the inside of it, so I'm gonna go in. Okay, it's not coin operated, which is a good thing. I would definitely wear slippers or flip-flops. But it's clean. Okay, the yellow box here is the garbage can. They do recycle. Here's the recyclables over here on this side. Supposedly they have a pool. I guess this is their pool. Tried at one point to put down a lot of pea gravel. These pebbly rock things. But it's been a while. And what they need to do is they need to put more in. It's been raining for the last two days that we've been here. And we're here for one more night. And it's becoming a muddy mess. They tried to give us this uh, RV site. Didn't like it, it was not leveled. So we moved from site number eight to site number 10, which is down there, which has a lot more pea gravel and it is leveled left, left to right. So I didn't have to put the levels out. The color scheme for this rush washroom the color scheme for this washroom is a little too much for us. It's too hippy dippy. That road noise you hear is Highway 1, which cuts across Canada, which is the only road. And this really strikes me as odd because odd numbered roads go from north to south, even in Canada, except for this highway. This highway cuts across Canada east-west. East-west roads are supposed to be even numbered. And this breaks the rule so they should rename this road from highway 1 to highway 2 <laughs> the laundry's over here wow okay gotta check it out now oh here two dollar coins okay so we got three three washers and three dryers one of which is broken right now so behind the bathroom area is the laundry facilities along with look, what looks like a phone booth because there is no phone reception here also. So the internet's not that good and neither is phone service. So if you're looking for internet, I don't recommend this park. And again, they tried with the pea gravel and they just need to restock the pea gravel and level their spaces more. So they need to start saving up for more pea gravel. All right, would I stay in this park again? The answer would be yes, only for overnight. No, if it's anything longer than that. It's a good rest stop to get from the coast to inland because this is where the road splits. To Vancouver and going in towards Kamloops or Calgary. Other than that, no. I don't recommend this park for anything longer than one night. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!